The 750 Motor Club is one of the UK's most influential motorsport organisations. The vast array of championships and machinery, there really is something for everyone. In our second series with the 750 Motor Club, we're going to take a closer look at the rest of their series under their banner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 750 Formula Championship. It's seen as the most affordable slicks and wing racing in the UK. They are sports prototype racing cars with an offset driving position and small passenger space. Uh, so my name's Ollie Collett and I race in the 750 Formula. Probably watching Lewis Hamilton, that was probably when I started watching motorsport, yeah. Silverstone, uh, 2009, that's where I came to watch the first, first Grand Prix. It's a school trip actually. <laughs> Many of these cars have been individually designed and built by enthusiasts over the years, but there are also kits available and good second-hand options on the market. The regulations are designed to encourage close competitive racing while controlling costs and the cars are lightweight with excellent grip and balance. Other than Formula 1, this is the oldest continually running race series in the world. 750 Formula is believed by many to be the ultimate fun, low-cost racing here in the UK. Me and my dad were, started wanting to do the karting and we yeah, got into that uh, back in 2011. Yeah, so it was just something for us to go do at the weekends together. That's how we got into it. The formula uses the ultra-reliable Fiat 1108cc fire engine and is fairly standard to keep costs down and reliability up, as well as allowing the vehicle maintenance to not be a massive issue. There is a mandated cam for the Series 2. This helps even out performance and make sure that one driver doesn't run away with it continually. Tuning is restricted to just balancing the engine, lightening the firewall and skimming the head. Induction is restricted to one carburetor choke while the exhaust system is completely free. All of this gives a power output of just 95 to 100 horsepower, but with the extremely low weight, these cars are very, very quick. There's a nice wide power output. So combining this with the light chassis weight, the average lap speeds around most of the circuits in the UK are between 85 and 95 miles an hour, making these cars a second or so off the British touring car lap times, which is pretty incredible. The suspension design is free, but all cars must use a live rear axle or a Fiat transaxle complete with the standard five-speed gearbox and final drive and independent rear suspension. And for the braking, this is free, so you're allowed to choose whatever you want here. So if you have a particular favorite brand, this will help you in this area to be more confident out on track. And for the transition, you have the four-speed plus reverse or five-speed if using the Fiat transaxle. LSD and all other traction control is prohibited in this championship. 750 is the sort of engineer racer formula, I think. So everyone's got cars they've either built themselves or designed themselves, um, and that sort of fit, fit like what, what me and my dad are into, um, which is the sort of design, engineering, racing side of uh, the sport. The, the Falcons are, they're, I think they're tricky cars because, um, you know, being sort of transverse rear engines, there's quite a lot of weight over the rear axle. Uh, so some of the sort of front engine cars are quite nimble, um, whereas we've got quite good high stability, high speed stability, so it should be good here, so it's a bit of a frustrating weekend for us. Currently the championship uses the Yokohama slick tyre, which tends to last up to the best part of a season, and also available second hand from the Sports 2000 formula. Competitors at the front of the grid will probably use 1.5 to 2 sets per year, costing around 475 per set when fitted. There is a Yokohama service truck at most race meetings and the wet tyre choice is also free if you have a particular favourite. Over the season there's normally 12 rounds which is spread across 6 double header race weekends. Only the best 10 results can count towards the championship, so this would allow you to either miss around or make up for some possible bad luck throughout the year. While there is one main class for this championship, there is also a class B for drivers who have not finished on the podium, in the top six of the main championship, or won the class B championship in the last five years. So trophies are awarded for the top three finishes in class B, as well as the overall results as well. Well, we got our first win last time out at Snetterton, um, which is near my dad's uh, house. So that was a um, <laughs> that, that was a good one for us. <laughs> yeah, here Snet Croft, I think, are the, the, my favourites. Um, the, yeah, the high-speed tracks are probably the ones I enjoy the most. I think it's probably to do with the, the nature of the car as much as anything. Um, yeah, those are the ones I enjoy going to. Donington as well, but we haven't been there in a while. 
Finally, let's quickly speak about the costs of this championship club membership. As is the case for everywhere else in the 750 Motors Club, it's just £25 for 12 months. A season registration for the championship is £120. Double header race weekend entry fees, which is qualifying plus two 15 minute races, is typically between £260 and £350, depending on the circuit. And cars can be bought second hand for approximately £5,000. Of course, you might spend a little bit more to get a car you particularly enjoy. Um, we both work very hard for this, and my dad probably puts in even more work than I do, so, um, you know, it's, yeah, it's very special when we get a good result. Some more wins. Let's, let's get some more wins. Yeah, that's, that's it, really. So there we go. Massive thank you to everyone that has partaken in this video. I massively appreciate that. Enjoyable to put these videos together for the 750 Motor Club, and I look forward to bringing you some more towards the end of the year. Massive thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.